we did all the tests, every test, and no, it wasn't COVID. Okay. Because other day one terrible bug did I go wrong, so I was wondering if that's what you caught. Everybody did I catch it. What it is is that I wasn't eating properly, and because me not worry about Marcus, you know, the world stressed us, popped me down. That's it. You know, there was a time I thought you guys hated each other. And why you would I think that? He never spoke about you, and you never come around. But you can understand why, right? I mean, after the grand revelation, yes. Tiffy, to be honest, I really feel bad about what happened. So, I just stay away and keep my distance. But I never ever forget your birthday or special events, you know. And we spoke about football all the time. <laughs> That was my way of staying close. I mean, it did still feel weird though. It did feel like you had a sneaker and could just spend time with your own niece. Plus, that did just get very annoyed when you find out that we are talking about Premier League. Yeah, the truth is, me and Marcus did always have a better business relationship than a brotherly one. Well, I'm seeing the brotherly love now. <laughs> well, blood thicker than water, them say. So I guess this proves it. Yeah, I mean, I kind of resented him for a time because he used to spend money on me, give me gifts. He did all the nice things, yes, but I just couldn't get any of his time. You know? <sighs> Politics have a way of. Taking a man's soul. So, can't blame him. It's part of the game. Yeah, I feel that. Listen, he wasn't always so difficult and arrogant, which, of course, you know that. But the more he got into the politics, I feel like that's the more it took away from his soul. He stopped connecting with us as a family, we stopped doing a lot of family things. So, you know, I just think that's where we lost him. And I'm sure this whole situation, this whole experience, has humanized him again. Well, I pray he lives to appreciate it. Well, Tiffy, I, I pray so too. I pray live to come out of this and just be a better person. You don't mind me going to the fridge, you need ice. Help yourself. What the hell if I buckle? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, don't pay attention to what I'm going to hold. <laughs> Alright, well. You know, there's something, now that we're talking about politics, mm -hmm. there's something that I've been thinking about. What is that? Do tell. Um, I'm planning to do an investigation on Dr. Grant. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've been doing some deep research on her and I've been seeing some really interesting things. Interesting findings if you want to call it that. So, I'm going to do a story on her. Interesting findings? Mm -hmm. Good or bad? Oh, I am going for the dirt. And you plan on publishing these findings? Yup. It would be my very first article. You sure you want to do that? Because, Tiffy, this woman can be very ruthless, you know? Uncle Carter and Lisa, she is responsible for my father's present condition. I'm not going to let that slide. She has to pay. Can I see the real Wallace energy does sir. I pour out of you. I take it you're not going to take the talk, Mandis. None whatsoever. I'm all locked in. 